A Sydney woman is lucky to be alive after being stung twice on the stomach by a blue ringed octopus. Whoa! Diana. It causes severe pain. It has effects on the heart. Well, being stung by a scorpion is never fun, but in the desert, it's a possibility. Now one valley woman is sharing her story. It's really important because this was a shocker to me. It started to kick in. I could feel it. my eyes immediately settled down, the um, nasal congestion or dripping. Guys, I'm like shaking right now, like my feet are tingling. Appearances can be deceiving, especially when it comes to wild animals. Despite their tiny sizes and pleasing appearances, they can knock out predators, insects, bugs, or primates. Hold on for the countless reasons proving why one should never touch these animals. Ding wasp. The wild is called unpredictable for all the right reasons, and here is another inhabitant proving it. Despite its size, this wasp is known to zombify cockroaches. While that may seem satisfying for some of you, it's actually a nightmare for the prey. Understanding its weak points, the female slowly and carefully approaches the prey, and there it is. The immobilized cockroach, ready for the wasp to drag it into the burrow. Although the reason behind this predation was to satisfy the stomach's needs, it was not meant to satisfy the needs of the female, but the small larva which is going to hatch on its body. Now, let me explain what happens. The female stings a cockroach, injecting venom that temporarily paralyzes the cockroach's front legs. She then leads the zombified cockroach to its burrow, where it lays an egg on the cockroach. The larva hatches and consumes the still living cockroach as a source of food. This parasitic behavior ensures a fresh and living food source for the developing larva. Indian Red Scorpion Famous for being the very first predators to walk on land, I believe they would be one of the very last, too. Seriously, what can withstand that powerful stinger? Certainly not me, for sure. Meet the Indian Red Scorpion. Known for its potent venom, this scorpion is considered one of the most dangerous scorpion species in the region. The venom contains a mixture of neurotoxins that can affect the nervous system, potentially leading to severe symptoms and, in some cases, fatalities. Equipped with a pair of pincers and a long, curved tail that ends with a venomous stinger, they use it primarily for subduing prey. The venom varies among scorpion species and can range from relatively mild to highly potent. Scorpions are ancient arachnids, dating back millions of years, and their unique combination of features makes them formidable predators in various ecosystems around the world. Giant Waterbug The waterbug, belonging to the Bellastomatidae family, is a remarkable aquatic insect found in freshwater habitats. These insects, among the largest true bugs, can reach sizes exceeding 4 inches. But does that matter? With an elongated, flattened body and powerful forelimbs, they are adept predators. They lie in wait, using their front legs to grasp and immobilize diverse prey, including aquatic insects, small fish, and tadpoles. And sometimes, even a snake. All's thanks to their piercing, sucking mouthparts, which inject digestive enzymes into prey for their consumption. Now, while it's considered safe to interact with these bugs, a slight mistake can often have shocking consequences. These insects can deliver a powerful bite if mishandled. The bite is defensive in nature, and the insect may use its sharp rostrum to deliver it. Therefore, it's advisable to avoid handling giant water bugs to prevent any potential discomfort or allergic reactions. While capable of flight, they are well adapted for an aquatic lifestyle, equipped with structures for breathing air underwater. Pufferfish threatened or provoked, these fish have got only one solution for all of their problems, and that's to puff up. And surprisingly, it works. But it's not that unique defense mechanism we'll be talking about. It's this. These porcupine pufferfish become a ball of spikes when they puff up. Pufferfish, also known as blowfish or fugu, are intriguing aquatic creatures renowned for their unique defensive strategy. Found in both freshwater and saltwater environments, they are characterized by their ability to inflate their bodies when threatened. This distinctive behavior, known as puffing up, is a result of the fish rapidly ingesting water or air, causing them to swell and appear larger and more intimidating to potential predators. 
Pufferfish are equipped with specialized muscles and elastic skin that enable this remarkable defense mechanism. While their captivating appearance and behavior make them a subject of fascination, it's important to note that some species of pufferfish carry potent toxins in their tissues, making them highly toxic if consumed. Sea urchins Recognized by their spiny, spherical exoskeletons, sea urchins are creatures belonging to the phylum Echinodermata. From shallow coastal waters to deep sea environments, these animals inhabit oceans worldwide. The movable spines serve various functions, including protection and locomotion. Sea urchins possess a unique water vascular system that powers tube feet, aiding in both movement and feeding. Primarily herbivores, they feed on algae, but some species also consume small invertebrates or detritus. One intriguing aspect of sea urchins is their ability to regenerate lost body parts. Yes, they can literally grow what they lose. This self-repairing process includes spines and even internal organs. And if you ever dare to step over one of these balls of spikes, get ready for a wave of nasty swelling. Because contact with sea urchins can lead to painful puncture wounds and localized swelling. Some species possess venomous spines, causing additional discomfort and potential allergic reactions, highlighting the importance of prompt medical attention if stung. Brazilian Wandering Spider the Brazilian wandering spider, Phonutria, stands out as a formidable and highly venomous arachnid native to South and Central America, with a significant presence in Brazil. Unlike typical web-building spiders, this spider roams the forest floor, displaying a distinct threat posture when confronted. This defensive stance involves lifting its front legs and exposing its large fangs. The venom of these spiders contains a powerful neurotoxin that can induce paralysis and, in extreme cases, lead to respiratory failure. So, the next time you happen to spot one, you know what to do next. Run! Acid Spraying Vinegaroon The Vinegaroon, or Whip Scorpion, is a fascinating arachnid belonging to the Thelophonida order. While resembling a scorpion with its large pincers and a whip-like tail, it lacks a true scorpion's venomous sting. But is this a problem for him? Definitely not. It's because one of the vinegaroon's distinctive features is its unique defense mechanism. When threatened, it can release a vinegar-like substance composed of acetic acid and other compounds. Other than deterring potential predators, this behavior has earned it the colloquial name vinegaroon. Inhabiting the warm and tropical regions worldwide, they are primarily nocturnal and utilize their impressive sensory appendages to locate prey at night. Despite their somewhat intimidating appearance, they are generally harmless to humans, which means a close interaction would only lead to a slight discomfort. Lastly, vinegaroons play a valuable role in controlling insect populations, contributing to the ecological balance in their habitats. Jigger Fleas Jigger fleas, also known as chigo fleas or sand fleas, are parasitic insects prevalent in tropical regions, notably sub-Saharan Africa and South America. The parasitic flea inhabits soil and sand, engaging in intermittent feeding on warm-blooded hosts, including humans, cattle, sheep, dogs, mice, and various other animals. Humans are their primary victims, which is why it is crucial to avoid any close interaction especially due to the potential health risks associated with infestations. The burrowing action of these fleas can cause intense itching and inflammation, leading to open sores that may become infected. Their secret lies in the peculiar reproductive behavior. The female jigger flea burrows into the skin of its host, where it feeds on blood and enlarges, eventually laying eggs. This unique reproductive strategy can lead to discomfort, itching, and even infections for the host. Lonomia obliqua. Known for its venomous spines, it is a species of caterpillar found in South America, particularly in countries like Brazil and Argentina. It has a cylindrical shape covered in dense hair-like structures, normally green or brown in color. These features aid in its camouflage within forest environments. The caterpillar possesses venomous spines, making it a medically significant species. Their venomous spines contain substances that interfere with blood clotting and affect blood circulation. Although they are generally 4 to 5 centimeters in length, I would suggest not judging them by their size. 
Just one sting can cause a condition known as lonomyosis. The condition can be serious, and medical attention is required if someone is stung by this caterpillar. These stingy caterpillars exhibit social and nocturnal behavior. They are often found in groups and are active during the night. Understanding these physical characteristics is essential for identifying and avoiding potential encounters in regions where the species is present. Harvester Ants I would have explained why ants are in this list if you didn't already know that size is merely a number in the wild. And harvester ants? They've got quite a reputation for their aggressive behavior and potent defense capabilities. They are equipped with powerful stingers that can deliver painful bites, and some species release venom, posing a risk of discomfort and allergic reactions. Prevalent in arid and semi-arid regions, they are industrious insects known for their distinctive seed-collecting behavior. These ants earned their name due to their primary focus on harvesting and storing seeds, which constitute a major part of their diet. With a well-organized system, harvester ants form foraging trails to efficiently gather seeds and transport them back to their nests. It's actually in this well-organized process where the danger lies. Approaching their nests or disrupting their foraging trails can provoke a defensive response, leading to coordinated strikes by multiple ants. The only thing that can protect you is to avoid unnecessary interactions. Slow Loris This captivating nocturnal primate native to Southeast Asia is distinguished by its deliberate movements, enchanting large eyes, and a unique defensive adaptation. Despite all these features, the most intriguing is the slow loris's venomous bite, a rare trait among primates. Although their diet encompasses fruits, tree sap, nectar, insects, and small animals facilitated by specialized teeth, it possesses specialized glands located on the inside of its elbows that produce venom. When threatened, the slow loris will mix this venom with its saliva and deliver a toxic bite. The venom contains a powerful combination of proteins that can cause allergic reactions in potential predators or adversaries. As these primates continue to attract admirers worldwide, raising awareness and implementing protective measures are essential for their preservation. Flamboyant Cuttlefish Cuttlefish are remarkable marine cephalopods known for their intelligence, and one of their most striking features is the ability to rapidly change the color and pattern of their skin through chromatophores. But that's not the reason why I mention them here. It's because of this rather small yet striking species called the flamboyant cuttlefish. Found in the waters of the Indo-Pacific region, particularly in Northern Australia, it is renowned for its vibrant and mesmerizing appearance. Unlike other cuttlefish, the flamboyant doesn't use its color-changing abilities. Instead, it displays its vivid colors as a form of communication, signaling its toxicity to potential predators. It contains unique toxins in its flesh, making it distasteful and potentially harmful if consumed. Portuguese Men of War Hard to spot among the hundreds, if not thousands, of jellyfish is the voracious Portuguese man o' war. Often mistaken for a box jellyfish, it is far more dangerous. The Portuguese man o' war is a captivating yet dangerous marine organism. Despite its appearance, it is not a single organism but a colonial organism made up of specialized individual animals known as zooids, each with a specific function. Found in warm oceanic waters, the manowar floats on the surface, propelled by wind and ocean currents, and its distinctive pneumatophore, or gas-filled bladder, serves as a sail. The long, tentacle-like structures trailing beneath the surface can deliver a powerful and painful sting containing venom-filled nematocysts used for capturing prey and deterring predators. Triggered upon contact, these nematocysts release potent venom that immobilizes small fish or plankton. The tentacles then transport the captured prey to feeding polyps at the base of the organism, illustrating the efficient predatory strategy of this unique marine species. 
blue ringed octopus. This tiny octopus, found in the Indo-Pacific region, is a small yet highly venomous marine creature known for its captivating appearance and potent neurotoxic venom. Despite its diminutive size, this octopus is considered one of the most dangerous in the ocean. When threatened, it displays vibrant blue rings as a warning sign. Its venom contains toxins that can lead to paralysis and respiratory failure, making encounters perilous. The predator utilizes a combination of stealth and venomous predation techniques. When a potential prey item, such as small crustaceans or small fish, comes within striking distance, the octopus quickly seizes it with its powerful beak. What makes it particularly dangerous is its venom. The octopus injects venom through its saliva, containing potent neurotoxins. This venom is used both for subduing prey and as a potent defense mechanism. The neurotoxins can paralyze or finish off the prey quickly. Golden Poison Frog Ranking among the world's most toxic animals, this frog inhabits the rainforests of western Colombia, particularly in the Chocó region. These vibrant frogs boast stunning shades of yellow, orange, or gold, serving as a visual warning to potential predators about their skin toxins. The golden poison frog's bite is highly dangerous to predators due to the potent toxins present in its skin, primarily batrachotoxin. It's so potent that indigenous people historically utilized the frog's toxins for blowgun darts during hunting. It can also immobilize potential prey or predators, eventually leading them to their end. The toxins are thought to be acquired through the frog's diet in the wild, particularly from consuming certain toxic ants. In a natural setting, predators quickly learn to avoid these brightly colored frogs, minimizing the risk of encountering their deadly toxins. Selenodon The term Selenodon likely refers to the Selenodontidae family, which includes two extant species of insectivorous nocturnal mammals known as Selenodons. They are remarkable for several reasons. Number one, their distinctive appearance, featuring a long snout, beady eyes, and a coat of coarse fur. Number two, for possessing a venomous bite, they have grooves in their lower incisors that allow venom to be delivered to their prey through a chewing motion. They are nocturnal hunters that rely on a combination of senses and unique adaptations for prey capture. Their keen sense of smell helps them locate insects and small invertebrates, which constitute their primarily insectivorous diet. Equipped with a long snout and claws, they can probe into crevices and leaf litter to find prey and unearth insects from the ground. Despite possessing a venomous bite, Selenodons are generally not aggressive towards humans, using their unique adaptations primarily for hunting and self-defense in their natural habitats. Thorny Starfish the crown of thorn starfish is a large species of starfish that inhabits coral reefs in the Indo-Pacific region. Recognized by its spiky appearance and vibrant colors, this marine invertebrate is named for the venomous thorn-like spines covering its upper surface. Touching a crown of thorn starfish can result in injury due to its sharp, venomous spines. The hollow spines contain toxins that can cause swelling. It is important to handle these starfish with caution to avoid accidental stings. And in marine environments, divers and snorkelers are advised to wear protective gear. While it plays a natural role in coral reef ecosystems by preying on coral polyps, excessive population growth can pose a significant threat to coral reefs. The crown of thorn starfish is known for outbreaks, during which their numbers surge, leading to coral damage. These outbreaks can have detrimental effects on coral ecosystems, contributing to coral reef decline. Conservation efforts often include culling or controlling their populations to mitigate the impact on coral reefs and promote reef health. Jellyfish These fascinating marine creatures belong to the phylum Cnidaria and can be found in oceans worldwide. Characterized by their gelatinous, umbrella-shaped bell and trailing tentacles, Jellyfish come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. The most striking of them is the box jellyfish. It is a highly venomous marine creature found in the Indo-Pacific region, particularly around Australia. Known for its box-shaped bell and long, trailing tentacles, 
This jellyfish is known for its predatory nature, especially towards humans. Equipped with specialized cells called nidocytes, located in their tentacles, they release venom to capture and immobilize prey. Its venom contains toxins that target the nervous system, causing respiratory distress. The box jellyfish is particularly active in shallow coastal waters during the warmer months, necessitating caution among swimmers. Cone Snails Never trust appearances, and this snail proves to us why. That's right, I'm talking about cone snails. Known to be from the group of predatory sea snails belonging to the genus Conus, these marine gastropods are known for their beautifully patterned shells, and they inhabit tropical and subtropical waters around the world. But the reason why I added these snails to my list is their carnivorous behavior. Cone snails use a specialized harpoon-like tooth called a radula to inject venom into their prey. The venom contains a mix of toxins that can paralyze or sometimes even end the life of small fish, worms, and other marine organisms. Some of the species have venom that is potent enough to be harmful to humans. The sting can cause a condition known as cone snail envenomation, characterized by symptoms such as intense pain, swelling, and in severe cases, paralysis and respiratory failure. They are often found in coral reefs and sandy seabeds and are typically nocturnal hunters. While they are fascinating creatures, caution should be exercised when handling snails, as their venomous harpoon can pose a threat to both their prey and to humans. Giant Titan Beetle The giant titan beetle is one of the largest beetles in the world and is known for its impressive size and intimidating appearance. Native to the rainforests of South America, particularly in countries like Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru, this beetle belongs to the Cerambycidae family. Male giant titan beetles are generally larger than females and can reach lengths of over 16.7 centimeters. These beetles have a robust and elongated body with large mandibles, giving them a formidable appearance. Despite their intimidating size, giant titan beetles are not considered harmful to humans as they are primarily herbivorous, feeding on the sap of various tree species. However, the giant titan beetle's larvae, which develop in decaying wood, might have powerful mandibles and can potentially give a pinch if handled. Therefore, it's advisable to appreciate these impressive insects from a safe distance and avoid unnecessary contact to prevent any accidental injuries or stress to the beetle. The giant titan beetle is often sought after by collectors due to its impressive size and striking appearance. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in one of our videos. This image displays a man's unusual looking hand on one side and a giant water bug on the other. Like many others, I initially believed the picture, which suggested that the water bug is what caused the condition, until I came across an article that stated otherwise. Now, there's no doubt that the water bug's sucking mouth parts can deliver a strong bite, and its venom may cause temporary itching on the hand. However, the idea that it creates holes in the man's hand is not accurate. In reality, the condition depicted is known as pitted keratolysis. It involves the development of small holes on the feet, often accompanied by an unpleasant odor due to bacteria thriving in warm and sweaty conditions. So the next time you encounter something like this, I suggest doing just a bit of research before you fully believe it. And that goes for me too now. See you next time.